Careful. He's doing his job. He's doing his job. He's doing his job. Southwest Florida, you're looking live at the Unity in the Community basketball game here at the Stars Complex. Everybody who's anybody has come out to witness it. And we have some NFL players, community leaders, law enforcement officers that works out there playing. Even have the, the likes of Kurt Shear here. We had, a key, we had a motivational speech by Ronnie Tate of Dunbar who's putting the kids on the straight and narrow. We even got one of the most successful high school basketball coaches, works with the youth since he's been able to work with youth, athletic director, the works, William Hagen, who happens to be a member of the Blue and White Brigade Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. Beta Sigma. Show him, show him something. Long time friend of mine, of course, I'm a member of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. First of all, William Wig Hagen's brother, how are you enjoying yourself so far this evening at the Stars Complex? I'm really enjoying myself, Lee. This is a great event, uh, unity in the community. I came out here earlier today. I got a chance to meet some of the, uh, the, the star athletes. The kids are interacting. It's just a great, great feel. Once you come into the gates of the Stars Complex, you can feel the energy, and it's a, such a great environment. So I'm, I'm so happy and elated that we, we have this going on here in the community. I'm glad we got you here because I haven't had a, really had a chance to talk to anybody who could tell me about what happened this morning with the football clinic from some of the local NFL players who came back and worked with the children. Tell us what you witnessed out there this morning. Well, I've seen uh, um, some NFL players out there, like uh, Jalen Watkins. He was out there uh, and uh, several others. And they were interacting with the kids, had a great turnout. The kids were uh, enjoying themselves, and they were learning a lot. And everyone was just having a fun, great time working together. Uh, uh, on social media, we said that Walt Wesley was the only NFL basketball player to come out the area. You came in with your basketball <laughs> knowledge. Tell us who else came out the area, bro. Hey, my teammate, Curtis Kitchens. He <laughs> played with the Seattle Supersonics against Magic Johnson in the Western Conference Finals. He played one year with the Supersonics, and then he played about 12 seasons overseas over in France. You th is, Curtis, <laughs> is he on social media? You might see this. Yeah, he on social media, and he lives out in Seattle. He's going to be here next month. <laughs> All right, Curtis, we plug you, man. Your boy didn't let us get away with that on another Curtis interview. Kitchen, Cape Coral High School. Now, uh, UCLA, uh, I mean, LSU has somebody from this area now, right? Yeah, Emmett Williams. Is yeah. he a prospect? Yeah, Emmett is a, a very good prospect. Um, he's a very super talented kid. I've been watching him ever since middle school, and he is just a phenomenal, phenomenal player, and he's going to do great things, and he would definitely will be in the NBA very soon. Okay. Now, I've had you on the show in the past. Maybe about eight years ago, you brought in some of those basketball players that were your, on your AAU team, but they also play high school ball. Uh, they've gone on to be successful citizens? Yeah, yeah they have. Um, out of those uh, 12 kids, uh, 11 of them got degrees. Uh, they're, they're degrees from college. One of them is out there playing now, Troy, Troy Simmons. And uh, Troy was one of the kids that had uh, like over a 4.0. He was a finance major. And now he's a, uh, I think he's a branch manager at one of the local banks here in, in, in Southwest Florida. And uh, so, so many kids did so well. They went off to college and did some, so many great things. So I'm, I was always proud of them. Um, every one of those kids, uh, I think on my team, six of them got player of the year in college. I mean, in high school, before they went on to college. How do you balance, how do you get that message across? Now you're an athletic director. What school are you athletic director? I'm an athletic director at East Lee County High School mm -hmm. uh, over in Lehigh, Lehigh Acres. Uh, I, my message is that we want to get our, our student athletes to make sure they engage in the classroom and they know about you know everything that's coming for us for SAT, ACT prep, also how to increase their study habits so when they become seniors that they're already ready to get into the recruiting process so they're able to make that transition from high school to college. Uh, what do you, uh, uh, from the time when you were a high school student and uh, to now, what do you see the big, is there a big difference in the way our athletes are uh, approaching life and academics and just the whole, is it a, a whole different ball game or is it pretty much the same? It's, it's pretty much the same, but it's a little different because they have so much technology at their disposal. Um, the ways they can study now, that uh, our kids now, they can study uh, at all times, anywhere. So it's, it's so easy for them to, to, to get, the, get the technology that they need. Like the high schoolers have Chromebooks now, so they have the Chromebooks and they can go into their drives. They can share documents with their professors and they can, you know, you know send work from home or from on, if they're on a road trip. And it was different when I was in, in school. We didn't have those computers. Like, we had computers, but we didn't have the laptops. 
So when we went on the road, we had to do our work and had to wait till we returned to turn our, uh, submit our work in. But one, when I found out from you, hey, Andrew, 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 show me some love later, okay? That's when another, I, when, when super, I, that's when, another when, superstar, your man right yeah. there. Hey, when I found out, uh, I didn't know, I know me and you have been knowing each other a long time, but I didn't know you had that tech background. You remember when you came over to my apartment way back then? Were you into tech way back then? Um, well, when I went to college, I majored in computers, and I wanted to be a computer program. I wanted to write program. But when I got, like, midway through college, I, I sort of changed direction. So, um, and I, I it, with the school district, I worked in tech technology for, like, uh, I taught it, and I was a technology specialist for, like, five and a half years. So I, I do have that, that, that technology background. That's the future, though. Yeah. Technology, science, math. Yeah. Go ahead, elaborate on that. Yeah. Um, you know, the with, with a lot of the STEM program, you know, science, technology, you know, that, that is the way of the future, whether or not it's in athletics, academics, um, you're going to find that in every aspect of what you're dealing with. Now, you actually have a golf tournament coming up. I'm really excited about it. Yes, that I people do. can come out, support your golf tournament, and, and support a worthy cause. Go ahead and talk about it. Uh, my golf tournament is at, you know, the East Lee County Athletic Program Golf Tournament is in Lehigh Acres, May 5th, 2018, and is at the Majestic Golf Course. Give some contact information or, 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 or anything, a phone number or something people can call or website or whatever. Um, you can we go can also to... also hit you up on social media. You can email me at williameh at leeschools.net or you can contact me by phone 239-362-8903. Give that date again. That's May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, 2018, at the Majestic Golf Course. Proceeds go to benefit, proceeds benefit. Proceeds benefit the East Lee County High School Athletic Program. It's for all of our athletics, boys, girls, uh, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, uh, bowling, golf. All of our athletic programs benefit from this golf tournament. You got a little golf background? You can you can golf a little bit? You know what? My golf, I got a I got a pretty good short game, but I, I have problems keeping it in the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, I, I'm I'm probably uh, you know a thousand over par, but I'll tear up a golf court for you. That. Hey, put me in the swimming pool. I'm comfortable. Put me on the basketball court. I heard put that. me on the football field. Put me uh, on a ping pong table and certainly a tennis court. I can. I can hold my own. This is William Hagen. By the way, man, typically you would be out there playing in these kind of games. You got a little too old, you know man. What? You'd be out there shaking now, and thinking. I had opportunities to play with Deion Sanders, Javon Curse over all those years and everything, but now I just leave it to the younger guy. Can you, you know, still dunk? I cannot dunk. <laughs> I think I, Lee, I think I, if I jump hard as I can, I could probably touch the bottom of those nets. <laughs> hey, man, just don't pound, man. I know that's what you're right, talking about. That's right. This is a legend in his own right. William Hagen, Grace in the set, Phi Beta Sigma. Sit next to the legend, Lee Pitts. Sit next to the man, sit next to the man, sit next to the man who called my piccolo player. <laughs> you have to go to Robin Harris for that. If y'all don't get it, you just don't get it. We'll be right back on Leapers Live on Fox 4.